Okay, so today I'm going to use this syringe to do a pour of some sort. I'm going to try and create like a ribbon since it can't really hold much and this is a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. It holds a lot of paint and yeah. I see. Okay. I'm spreading the paint around the canvas with my palette knife so it's uh has a good base to it so it the, the, the fluid painting right so you're pouring paint usually onto a fluid surface and then pouring it some more so getting my edges just to be shaved then just go away <laughs> it's one of those nice. Okay, I saw someone doing a syringe pour, so I kind of wanted to try it for myself. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to put on a glove because it helps. Roman, please. You good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Pull this out and I am going to pour my paints in the end of it. Let's start with, um, I, this is a brand that I like to use called Riotech and it is fluorescent magenta. This is phthalo green and titanium, whoops, white mixed together. Ooh. I like to make my paints a little bit runny. I've never tried this before, so this is this is interesting. I've added silicone to all my paints, so again, come on, stick. Whew. All right, got a little silver on my canvas, but it's no big deal. Oh wow, I just don't want to be out of frame. Here's some. Yellow. Um, the silver is a folk art paint, and this is, once I get it in frames, dioxazine purple in Liquitex Basics. I've been trying really hard to, um, well, play with different colors, try to be brighter, but I know, <laughs> brighter, me, it's kind of funny, but i trying my best. Please don't criticize. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. Okay. So now I'm gonna take oh, my plunger and get it. I'm sorry, I gotta like struggle out of frame for this one. <clears throat> I don't want whoo, too much paint to go flying. So. Ah! Okay. Yeah, knew that was gonna happen. Wow, the cells are really popping already, eh? Woo! Oh my gosh. I almost painted my cat. <laughs> this is neat. I was worried, so worried with how this was going to turn out. It's a little hard to push down all this paint through this syringe. My amazing mother-in-law found this for me, actually. Um, she found it at a local drugstore that sells this kind of stuff. I was actually surprised that she was able to find one and quite happy that she found it. Nonetheless, hey, this is actually so much fun. Because you don't know what you're going to create. It's really hard to push all this paint out. <laughs> okay then! Roman, you really need to move, dude. That's fine. You can just not lay in that paint puddle. 
I got so much paint everywhere. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, I gotta tilt this a little bit or something. Maybe I should torch it first? No, I'll just tilt it first. Get all the uh, stuff around. You're fine. You're a good boy. All right. Wow, I'm so happy I decided to use really bright colors. And I picked up some new, wow, silicone recently. This is really cool. I'm okay with this. I just don't want to ruin too much of the really awesome cells that have happened. But there's still... Uh, I guess I can do it this way a little bit. Tip it this way. This is actually so neat. I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Alright. I'm just having fun with it now. Um, it, it's amazing how this kind of came out. I wasn't expecting it to come out like this. Uh, yeah, let's try to get it off this corner now. It just sucks that I'm losing some of the cool stuff because the paint's running over itself, but whatever. Sorry if you can't really see this, it's awkward. Um, I guess I'll go down. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave it like that because that looks nifty in and out of itself. So I'm going to take some white. And dab it along the edges that don't really have anything. Use a new finger each time because, well, you never know. Cross contamination is a real thing in my world, anyways. Um, for example, I managed to get some like a minty green in here, and I just knuckled my paint thing somewhere. Oh, in the corner. Great. Always the corners. I want to start dipping afterwards again and making cabochons. I just can't afford it right now. There are so many cells. Even my gloves have cells on them. <laughs> That's neat. Okay. I'll dab this corner. I'll dab this corner like that. And then that one's already be done. I'll peel off the gloves. So... I spent about $80 on this garbage headset and ended up uh, switching back to something I already had, which is my Bluetooth speaker. I know. It's just one of those things. I'm going to have a, another ribbon type video pinned in the description and the comment section, so make sure you check it out. It is my 16 color dustpan art. It's one of my other videos that I found pretty cool because, well, I bought a small dustpan. There wasn't enough dustpan to say the least. So make sure you guys check that out and then come back to see how this finally turns out. On with the torch. <laughs> ripples are caused by the silicone that I added in the paints. Honestly, this is one of my favorite ones so far. I'm so thrilled with this. Wow. This is cool. So make sure you check out my videos that will be linked at the end. Comment what you think of this because I think this is awesome. This is one of the really, this is one of the cooler paintings I've done. I can't wait to use this syringe some more. Like this video if you like how this turned out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded. And I will see you next time.